Hello, L colon Q. Hello, G clef cannon. It is I, Han Bun, here for some Risk of Rain 2. And G clef, you, what I would do with you. Let me think about this. This is my first time doing this. Uh, you're going to sign a contract. You are going to be put into a container. And we're going to try and make ectoplasm out of you. I'm not sure if that's going to go too well, but that's what they told me here at the lab. Anyways, um, I've been inspired. I have uh, been wanting to play this game for some time. It's a game I'm quite familiar with, so I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble. But I just wanted to play this one, maybe. I had some free time, just, you know, lying around. I decided to make some use of it. I've got some, I, I could have gone out and gotten myself some breakfast and a, and a nice hearty meal this morning, but instead I decided to maybe give a stream a go, see if I could get something done. I've got, instead of a nice healthy breakfast, I've got Doritos, nacho cheese flavored Doritos, and a grocery store brand energy drink with, let me, let me see how much caffeine is, is in here. Uh, it's, I know it said it somewhere. Ah, 78 milligrams, which isn't really that much. And yet they suggest still, um, only one, only one, uh, can per day. So I'm just going to run this really quickly. Let me see. What's the default loadout for, for commando here? It's primary double tap. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I have to put my phone up for reading chat while I'm Live. I did not have that in mind when I did this. I swear, sweat ectoplasm we found out a few streams ago, so that's <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna see if we can do anything with that. Um, so default commando loadout, I'm pretty sure is this one, this one, this one, this one. There we go, that's all I needed. And expansions, I got the DLC. And not much else to say, let's just hop right into it. So if I die, I'm gonna end the stream immediately. No ifs, ands, or buts. Just, uh, you know, one run, then I'm done, probably. But we'll see. Uh, how far can I push this? If I get a clear with Commando, I'll probably hop on a Huntress or something, even though I don't play her. Yeah, that's a funny little funny little gimmick of a, of a stream there. Ending it, if you... What if you don't ever die? Well, I guess I may just have to jump off a cliff, which actually doesn't kill you in this game. It brings you get, it gets you really low, can bring you all the way down to 1 HP, but it doesn't actually kill you if you fall off the cliff. So I'll probably just have to sit in front of one of these dudes and let them blast fire in me. Maybe not, though. Were you doing anything today, to, uh, tonight, actually, Gclef? Because... I don't think I saw you go live. I saw a lot of people go live today. It seems like Saturday night is, ooh, big day for, for us aspiring VTubers. I wanted to make the thumbnail for, for this, um, one of these guys laser beaming me, but I couldn't find a picture that had the laser beam on it. Or it wasn't sat. None of the pictures that I could find with the with these golems on there were satisfactory to me. Oh, I did not want that to happen. Oh, I keep on forgetting that I have a I have a button on my R that uh, does a lot of damage. I should really be aware of it. Okay. My my earlier mistake of letting the golem laser beam me is now mitigated by the fact that I just haven't taken a lot of damage. I'm just vibing with you and transcribing a song. What song is that? Is it the one that I that I was talking to you about? The one that I really like? <laughs> the one that maybe I should keep a secret if I, in case I ever wanted to uh, actually cover it myself? Although I'm not sure if keeping it a secret really matters to all that much. Now that one is almost certainly completely transcribed. Oh, so this is a this is a niche song that you're that you're uh, transcribing. This must be really out there. What did I get here? Guillotine, not bad. Oh, bad apple. Well, oh, come on, come on. I could find a tab for bad apple in English for sure. What are you on? Bad apple. My goodness, they had tabs for that and transcriptions for that back in like 2006. The only one you saw was shit. Okay, well that's actually reasonable and fair. How much money do I have? Okay, that's a decent amount. Uh, I'm gonna take you. 
Well, actually, this is really convenient. There's like three things here. Oh my god, why do they have to be on the same one? Brick glasses. How could you do this to me? And the last one's gonna be... The only one you saw... Oh, so you're fixing it. And what does fixing entail? Does it mean rewriting the whole thing, or...? Like, by hand? Oh god, I can't, I can't even imagine doing that. I think I'm tone deaf. I mean, I can tell, like, how to, how to do a song, right? But if you ask me to, like, transcribe, like, notes or whatever else, I'd just be completely incapable of it. Ooh, that's nice. So you can just change them through right. Oh, that's good. It's convenient. Ooh, that was almost almost ended the stream right there. I may have to end the stream actually pretty soon. Well, we will we will see. I could I could just consider this a warm up though. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Okay, fellas, that was my shortest stream of the of my career. Let's just. Um, <laughs> oh my God, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm actually not gonna gonna end the stream right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on going, but don't tell anybody. You're the only one watching, G Clef. You can't tell anybody. Yeah, it was it was just a practice run. It was just a practice run. Although I would have actually really liked for that practice run to be, uh, like, go somewhere because I did get pretty good luck on the item drops, but I'll live with this. This rain's kind of hard. It's, um, it's tough. I got good items, but they weren't quite, uh, quite what I was looking for. At least I don't think I got anything that was significantly... Uh, beneficial early game and that ended up just hurt me when I tried to go for the boss hello Rua it's good to see ya howdy this might be the first time you ever hear my voice um, I'm Han half man half bun and uh, when I have the time for it I stream for fun it's very limited time some sometimes but uh, right now it seems like I'm very fortunate I'm, I've been blessed with a weekend where there's no one around to obstruct me. Although when I say obstruct, it sounds a bit more um, offended than I really am. I'm not really too concerned whether or not people are around. Um, I just take opportunities when I see them. Hello, Rura. It's good to see you. Howdy. This might, might, is this the first time you've ever caught me stream? Because I know you saw me, well, you saw me on uh, Mr. G Club Cannon's channel yesterday. But I don't believe you've ever been around while I am streaming, so it's good to see you. Yeah, it's a, it's a little run. I, I think it's, uh... I was trying to write something for the, the VTuber introduction video that I always see people doing, and it ended up rhyming. It didn't actually have to rhyme, it's just that un, un, un is really easy to make work. I mean, it's like, what, fun? Bun? Uh done. Yeah. Han kind of fit works, not really. Um, I want the key, actually. This is the first time I've caught a Hoffman stream. You normally stream when I have zero chance of catching it. Oh. Well, yeah, no, so the thing is, this is the weekend for me, so for me it's Sunday, a little bit afternoon. I'm sure for you it's, uh, why are there just recyclers out the ass on this map? Um, I'm sure for you it's still Saturday something? Something? I don't know. I really wanted to play this game, but I got motion sick by watching a stream before. Let's see this time. Oh, Rura, if, if you even feel even the slightest hint of dizziness, please uh, just go like audio only. You you are not, you do not have to commit to this whatsoever. It's, um, I'm not keeping you hostage uh, for, for that purpose. Although maybe hostage RP ASMR is on the menu someday. Not right now. Not right now. 
Okay, I was gonna cons I was gonna say I haven't found a lot of chests, but they all seem to be grouped up around the teleporter here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a uh, start and then make a lot of money and pray that it uh, goes my way. I won't be able to stay long, admittedly, as it's late here, but I want to pop in for a bit. Oh yeah, so I assume you must be in like Ireland, right? I've been to Ireland. It's a nice place. Very fond of it. And um, God, what was I gonna say? The country's lovely, although for my time there, I was pretty much uh, just surrounded by fog, like if I were in a Silent Hill game or something. But the days were... Oh, jeez. That's not good. Alright, I think I'm dead again, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have been uh, trying to dab on Conqueror a little bit. You never see fog here? Oh, right, because you're, yeah, dinosaurs tend not to, um, I don't know where I'm going with that. Our cute bunny boy, <laughs> I don't think I have a deep voice whatsoever. I think I have a really, actually, like, boyish, boyish, 14, perpetually 14-year-old 14 boy voice, or maybe that's just because when I was 14 years old, this is exactly what I sounded like, and, hmm. Okay, so, you know, let's, let's go for, for instead of how, instead of, like, if I die, I end the stream, it's, uh, it's if I die three times, so this is my last chance. Otherwise, I have, I have to, you know, bite the bullet and maybe transition to something else, but this is probably the easiest game for me to pick up and get going. Now, I, if it's possible, I might stream this time regularly uh, on the weekends, which is it's going to be Friday and Saturday night for you. So Friday night, it seems like a lot of people are available, and that may end up being like, oh, this is my weekly collab time, which is fine. I think Friday night is a fantastic night to spend with other people. Uh, that's why every time I go out on Friday night, all the bars and restaurants are absolutely packed with office workers that are looking for a good time. I can see you being on baseball commentary. Oh, geez, that's a that's high praise, mister. Baseball is an American treasure, and I'm as American as I am, I'm not... God. I, I haven't watched a baseball game before, I must admit. Although I do find the systems in, in baseball pretty interesting. It's like, it's like a turn-based RPG, right? You got... And you have different people slotted into their into their roles. You got the pitchers, like mages, throwing throwing very dangerous uh, attacks. And then you got the the what are they? The uh, strikers, swingers. Maybe not swingers. I don't think that's a, a term I should be using for baseball. <laughs> there, there's there's the guys with the with the baseball bats. You know them. Pitchers. Oh, what, what is a base? Batters? Batters. That's the one. Sport is like a turn-based RPG in real life. Only a true gamer would say so. Well, I, I think it's... It was a joke that I saw a long time ago on Twitter where it was like... The reason Japanese people love baseball so much is because they have a fondness for turn-based RPGs. And that's stuck with me ever since. Hello, Mr. Kenny Koda. You, you seem familiar. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen you before, but I've heard mention of your name. And it's a uh, howdy. Welcome. Happy to see a wide variety of people here. I I must say I haven't I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at at um, today. Oh no! Ooh, what the heck is this? Spare drone parts. But I I don't have drones. Did it give me one? Colonel Drone Man. Well, thank you, Mr. Colonel Drone Man. You are mighty welcome. Batter made me think of pancakes. I actually had, um, maybe not a pancake, but I had a fried chicken, uh, batter donut last night, if that makes any sense. I might post it on Twitter, actually. I just need to do some, um, blurring of the background and such. The... What was I gonna, what was I gonna do? What time is it? Oh, it's 3.30. I need to hit that teleporter, actually. Um, I had a donut yesterday that's covered in fried chicken batter. 
and cooked, in it, uh, obviously. And oh shoot, I need this actually. I need to hit that before I hit the teleporter. You really like my eye? Thank you. I I'm very fond of it myself. It's um something I very much want for every bit of art of me. Um, I'm definitely gonna tell. I have a PNG tube model in the works, and I'm quite certain that I'm going to ask them to give me the eye like that. Oh jeez. This hitting me. Fried chicken donut. Yeah. So, anyways, like I'm, I've been trying to say this for the past. Um, it was an ice cream shop. So the ice cream shop does uh, prom promotional uh, stuff all the dang time. And this time they had a fried chicken donut topped with a white sesame miso ice cream that also had maple syrup on top of it. So it's pretty good. And I'm about to die. It's very savory, but the the miso um, the miso ice cream tasted to me like I say this. It tasted to me like a certain ice cream that I've had when I was visiting my grandparents a long, long time ago in the good old state of Wisconsin. It was a butter pecan ice cream. And I was very fond of it, and I'd, I'd go as far as saying that the. Uh, the butter pecan flavor that I got from that specific ice cream shop is my favorite ice cream flavor in the entire planet. But I am quite fond of other flavors as well, like, um, God, what was it? I, I, I like vanilla. I'm a big fan of vanilla, you know, you can't go wrong with that, but... I've become a little bit more fond of chocolatey, uh, fudgy flavors. Always good. Oh my goodness, that's very... This is a blessed run. <clears throat> oh, jeez. My throat. Now, looks like there's nothing else I could have activated, so that's good. The run is actually looking pretty good for, for my first level and a little over five minutes. This is very, very tasty. Now, if I didn't know, I would know now know you are an American. I am American down to the marrow of my bones. Don't let me in with, your, with you Europeans, ever. And now, what am I looking for here? Is this game bad for people hated by RNG? Jesus? Yeah, it's uh, very much determined. Your your success is very much determined by our, our, our RNG here. So these are both kind of donkey doo doo. But what is this one? This is the one that I don't think would be very good. But it's better than this one. Although I maybe I should just leave my fate in uh, Fate's hands. Let me try and get something out of this. So what, what, donkey, donkey noo doo. No, 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 donkey doo doo, as in, you know, number two. It's been a hot minute, but there's some toggable difficulty options to make things really fun. Yes, yes, very, very much so. Very, very much so. Yes, Donkey Doo Doo is uh, one of my favorite ways of saying. Instead of saying um, what some might some might say horse uh, horse s word, I I try to keep it say so say so in here. <laughs> no, Ruri, you can't call us all Donkey Doo Doo's. That's not how that works. Bad that bad dinosaur. I actually forget the specific. Dinosaur that you are, Rura. Why don't you Why don't you tell us what what you are? Because I believe I'm a. Oh, you even. It's it's nice to be a dinosaur because I feel like dinosaurs are rather easy and iconic um, as far as like designs go. So you'll always see dinosaur like art. I know, I know the the Google Chrome when you don't have internet, you can uh, play the dinosaur hopping over cactuses. I think as a mini game. Say so, bros. Stay winning. Iconic. No one even knows what a Carnotaurus is. They'll they'll know what a Carnotaurus is once they see your streams. And the reason I I don't know what a Carnotaurus is is because I think I I've seen clips of you. I've seen mods of you. I haven't been able to catch a stream of yours yet. 
not quite. Actually, no, I did at the very end of it when you were when you were wrapping up your Holocure stream with all the Nodoka, uh, Dakimakura. But I want to be there for the whole thing. T Rex is iconic, yes. And the what are the other ones called? The Velociraptors are those the ones that are like skinny and like gremlins? I was a big fan of dinosaurs when I was a kid, but they seem to be going out of style now. And I, I, I'm, I'm afraid to admit that I've lost pretty much all of my um, knowledge of them from the past. Did they have a T? They must have had a T-Rex in Jurassic Park, right? Maybe I should go give that a rewatch. That'd be a pretty good movie to uh, go back and give uh, have a watch party for because. It's so good. I remember it being just a lot of fun. And actually, come to think of it, I, when I was a younger, younger bunny, the, I can't remember, I think it was Universal Studios that has the, um, that has the Jurassic Park branding. Is it Universal Studios? I think it's somewhere in California. Either way, there's some amusement park in California that has a dinosaur ride on it. Now, that thing terrified me, but now I look back on it rather fondly. It was one of the only places where I could, um... That I went to as a kid, as far as amusement parks are concerned. There was a lot of pop-up amusement parks that, in my area as a kid, growing up, but now... Not so much. I think that that is a point in... The West Coast's favor is that there's a lot of space in the West Coast, as opposed to the East Coast, where too much has been uh, settled and not a lot of funny events happen there that aren't in convention centers and are too professional for children to be allowed into. So since there's one monster left, is it this one? No. Alright, we're free. I love amusement parks. But there's like a total of two in this entire country and they're both terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Amusement parks are like, um... A child's, like, pride and joy. They're not responsible for it at all, but it's so much fun for kids. And if they, they don't get that, then I feel like they're missing out a lot. Missing out a ton, in fact. I think for parents, too, an amusement park is, like, something that they'd be really, really happy to take their kids to if they were only just around and available when they're free. Oh, this could be a problem. Problematic. Because I, I look at myself in the future as a parent, and I wonder, well, geez, what the hell am I gonna do with my kids at that point, right? Because every parent in the entire world, in the entire history of humanity, is a parent for the first time, right? You don't get experience with being a parent before you're a parent. So I would have no idea what oh jeez. You you I'm dead. It's over. Okay. Third third try. Oh man. Am I really gonna have to wrap this up after after number three? After getting a red on top of that? What Maybe I should go. Maybe I should go back to to rainstorm difficulty. Rua, it's it's fine. It's fine. You know what? Maybe I I'm gonna go back on my word. Risky rain. If I die in the stream, you know, I'm just gonna nix that part from the from the stream info, and nobody's gonna know. Yeah, nobody's gonna know. Thank you for for hitting F. So, believe it or not, I'm not very fond of Commando. I mean, he's a he's a character. Forgetty Beam. Uh, I thought it was if you actually died. <laughs> well, that might be a while. I must head to sleep. Thank you for the stream. I hope you have some good runs, Hanbun. Thank you, Rua. I hope you... I tuned in to some of your ASMR earlier, and it was fantastic. You're doing a great job for somebody who's just starting out. I believe in you. Keep it up. Now, I'm going to allow myself one little Dorito on stream. I wonder how terrible this is going to sound to you guys. Hold on.
certainly is Dorito ASMR, although I don't want it to be. Let me see the, the side here. The reason I'm bringing up the Dorito is because it's got the same color scheme as the Commando here. Black, orange, little hint of like deeper red in there, and the white on the top. Doritos Nacho Cheese, full volume, full flavor, full on tooth rattling crunch. Do you snack bold? Says it on the back. Thank you, reading was quite fun. I decided on Troy to compliment Sun's reading the Iliad. Yeah, I notice you two are pretty, they, you two mesh pretty well in terms of aesthetics, in terms of content. You two are gonna, you two are like, kind of banded together in my head. Which I'm not sure is something you or he wants, but I, knowing Sun, what I do of Sun, I'm not his best friend or anything. But I think uh, I would love to see you two do like some sort of collaborative reading session at some point in the future. Now, speaking of the future, I've got to figure out what I want to do. So my favorite character is actually, I played this fella, Mer Mercenary, for a very long time. I'm very fond of him. When Bandit released towards the uh, later stages of this game, Hey Hanbun, are you winning after you've made some risks? Uh, yeah, I've taken a few risks. We're, we're, you know, the, I've been streaming for less than half an hour at this point. We're just gonna pretend that I've been streaming for starting now. In fact, hello, Ori Melly Drops. I'm Han. I'm uh, half man, half bun, and then this is my stream. I'm streaming for fun. The we we're, we're we're just beginning now. You know, nothing nothing to worry about. No, no deaths have occurred so, thus far, and I'm thinking I may change things up because I can't dig Commando. I just can't do it. Maybe I can dig it if I change up his skills, actually. But then, I, then I'm kind of defeating the purpose of playing Commando Vanilla. I'm gonna give one more try with basic default Commando. Happy that there's been no deaths. Yeah, me too. It's, um... I haven't died yet. No. I, I'm just dropping in for the first time. You're, you're, you're seeing me play this game for the first time, Orimeli. Now, if I remember right, I think you and Rua are actually pretty, maybe close, but yeah, we don't remember anything here. It's uh, just part of the experiment. I'm using a secret memory beam on you guys, and you won't remember any of this. I forget what these games are called. Are they Rogue Lights with a T or Rogue Like uh, Likes with a K? Either way, I'm not really into these sorts of games as much as some other people are. I played like Minding of Isaac when that was popular and like on the Humble Bundle, but the Rogue Light what is it? obsession that a lot of people have, like with Hades and with uh, what? What are some other ones that come to mind? Maybe the original Risk of Rain. <laughs> okay, see, that's the confusion. I, I, you, Rua says she really likes both roguelikes and roguelites, but I... So they both exist, for, for certain, yeah. But I don't know the difference between the two. Maybe I'm just being silly. Maybe I should know the difference. Maybe it's very obvious to everybody except for me. But... I can't tell. I cannot tell. Gotta keep an eye on the timer. I've gotten pretty good drops. Uh, starting off with the glasses is effectively a 10% damage increase for me. What I'm curious about is there was a big box at the start when I just dropped in. I didn't manage to open because uh, obviously when, I, when you just drop in, you're very poor. You have no money. Something I can relate to a lot, actually. But I have no idea how I'm gonna get back up there and I'm worried, I'm worried now. Because that big box might just have the only red that I'm going to get in this run. The difference is having something having a permanent upgrade to help with the next run, Hades, or starting with the same exact zero every time. Did I explain that right, huh? You did! You, you explained that beautifully, Rua. That is a wonderful explanation. So, is like... Is, but, but which one is like and which one is like? I can I can remember the difference as long as I remember the, the letters and attribute the letters to the, to the right um, one. As it were. 
This costs $50. Are you insane? I don't have $50. I have $42. Okay, which means I need one or two more enemies that aren't appearing. What a shame. So, anyways, Commando sucks, kind of. I mean, it's fun, but it kind of sucks. Now that the enemies are appearing, I feel a bit in danger. Someone behind me. Oh, there he is. I don't have $50 relatable. Yeah, I know, right? I was just having it. Ah, it's not terrible. It could be worse. Now, I'm really late on the teleporter, so I should go give that a look-see. If you notice right there, I moved a lot faster right after I killed the, the enemy, but it does not last long, that burst of speed. So Hades, I saw you, you can die over and over again, but you keep sort of some sort of progression. I don't think, um... That would be the same as Risk of Rain, uh, kind of? You. <laughs> this game has codes that you can put in to get the artifacts, and the artifacts technically, I think, can make a difference. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be very good. Where's the teleport? I need to hit that thing on the ASAP. Why can't I sprint towards my camera? That's upsetting to me. Oh, it's this way. Right there. I'm gonna be late. You get different characters on Risk of Rain, too. You don't get different characters in Hades, though. And what is the other game that I'm thinking of? You get different characters in, uh... In Binding of Isaac, as well. But aside from, <coughs> aside from the artifacts, I don't think you get anything that lasts between runs. I, I like Blind of Isaac as, as well, but I never actually played it. I just really like the, the soundtrack and the style of it. Um, what was another game that came out around that time that was really popular and had the same sort of graphic looking like meat to it? It was uh, Super Meat Boy. That was a fun game. I only played a few levels of it, but I remember it was a... Pretty, pretty stellar little platformer, shooty, not shooty, it was just a platformer, like solely a platformer, I'm pretty sure. I'm the one that's shooty right now. It's really, I, I, I've got to hand it to Conqueror, I'm trying to keep up your attention playing this game. Yeah. No wonder he's having so much trouble. I'm having a sip of this this air energy drink. What time is it? It's almost 2 p.m. So I'm still in the threshold for safe, safe energy drinking time and coffee as well. Though I know some people have coffees at like 5 p.m. Those people are insane. Are you winning, son? No, not quite. I'm playing a character that I don't enjoy particularly, and I'm using skills that I don't enjoy especially on the character that I don't enjoy. I'm having a tough time, but uh, I'm trying to emulate Conqueror's, you know, struggle and sort of get, get get a feel for it, see how hard it is myself. And it is difficult. It is unbelievably difficult. The... <laughs> I think maybe what it is is I'm, ta I'm, I'm sticking with this one and not taking these two... This does, overall, 1,600% da damage. This does 300% damage. I think that's what I'm lacking. Although, what a, can I swap profiles here? No. Alternate game modes. I have no idea what either any of those are. Oh yeah, maybe if I change this. Great profile. Single player. And this should be fresh, right? Like, fresher than fresh. Okay. So what is the... 
As Commando, land the killing blow on an overloading worm. Commando Godspeed. Command fully charge the first stage teleporter before the timer hits five minutes. Interesting. Conqueror plays on Monsoon, right? Or does he play on, on Rainstorm? Maybe Rainstorm is what, uh... I can go check, actually. Hold on. This shouldn't take too long. Where is he? Conqueror channel has finished streaming here. Let me just really quickly go take a look at the VOD. I'll peep the VOD. And we will tell you what, because I have died quite a bit. I I could emulate Conqueror's thing. Okay, so he does play on Rainstorm. He does play on Rainstorm. I'm gonna do like 10 push-ups for each death that I had there. That's like what, 40 push-ups? Oh my god. Ugh, this is gonna hurt. Hold on, fellas. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to hear me while I do this, but I'll give it a shot. One moment. Only 40. Yeah, so that's like 10. He does like, uh, he does like 15 for each, each death or something. I can't remember. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to handle that. I'm a bit skinny and back pain. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's uh, 15 for, for, <laughs> oh hi Tiny, <laughs> it's uh, good to see you, that's 15 for now, and uh, catch my breath really quick, respect for people who can do more than one push up can't be me, I'm sure you could do one push up, you just have to uh, use your good arm, right? Those dino muscles must be very much developed. In fact, I'm pretty sure dinosaurs are in the category of animals that are so like, hormonally pumped up that they just... I know boars have flesh that is so full of hormones that if you eat it, you can actually affect your own hormonal profile. <laughs> Which is um, something I was interested in having. I actually had a arm muscle developed for a Carnotaurus. Actually, come to think of it, you're, you're kind of right, aren't you? But, uh... Damn it. <laughs> Is this true, Rora? Do you have tiny, cute arms? I, I, I shouldn't even need an answer to that question. Of course you do. Right, let, let me go for another, uh, what is it, 25? No, oh, 30's fine. I think 30's fine. Ugh. I like how we can hear the grunts become pro <laughs> progressively more grunty. Yeah, well, I kind of run out of breath somewhere along the line. Ugh. Maybe I should do a push-up redeem. That might be funny. Oh, jeez. As you can see, I have added redeems, and Mr. G. Clef was the first to sign a contract with uh, Hair Medical Group to see what we would do to him. But... Drop it. Drop. Make me drop my weapon for five minutes. Oh, man. I should probably disable that one or find some alternative for this game because I can't quite disable my weapons in this one. Oh, hello, Vita. Congratulations on signing in. Oh, welcome to the stream. 
I should I should find a way to make it more clear that that one is uh, just you know hi I'm here watching the stream. By the way, I believe I can get on with my day now. Okay, fresh fresh commando. Didn't know you could actually start with um, Aurora. Hello, welcome Aurora. Congratulations on following me. Welcome. I didn't know that these were the starting characters, so I knew... I thought you had Unlock... Oh, yeah, Unlock Huntress. And I didn't know Railgunner was added to the starting group of characters that you can play. I I know this, this one was really hard to get. But I believe I kind of cheesed it. I like how you say congratulations for people who fault you. It's not... <laughs> I say congratulations because I'm not sure what else to say. Um, thank you for following. Oh, right, no, th it's thank you. It's like the classic, like, thank you, thank you that you, you should um, do to people that follow or like subscribing, right? Like, like that. Sorry, I'm a bit of a newbie streamer. I've only been doing this for, for a in-game, oh, abandoned in-game action. Jumping, okay, I will not, I will not do any jumping. I'll do sprinting, no jumping. My thumb is off the, off the space bar now. And that's, um, how, how long is that one going to be for? That's going to be five minutes, I think. So, at 14.07. Okay. Ah! Wait, no! No! <laughs> All right, hold on. You saw it happen. I, yep, yep. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an awful person. Let me do, yes, I'll do the ten push-ups for, for... <laughs> You can't blame me for that one. It's so easy to mess up. It's like starting a Dark Souls stream with Conqueror and then banning the word souls. You can't you just can't do it. It's it's bound to mess up. Okay, punishment is like another 15 push-ups. Damn you, Vita. Damn you. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 is a good number. I like the number 15. There we go. Okay. I can jump again. I've also got to realize that maybe some of these point ban, like the, the point redeem ban is, uh, there could be no way the dudes just sitting will still wait from the mic and grunting out numbers, right? We try. <laughs> no, I, uh, if if I were lying about it, I wouldn't be so out of breath. Unfortunately, I'm uh, my little rabbit heart cannot quite pump the same amount of blood properly as uh, when I had a human one. It's a bit of a loss, in my opinion. I only see downsides of becoming a human Mimi. I should have never signed that contract. Unfortunately, I, I have, and there's no no getting my ears back now. It's too late. Whew. Now. How far are we into this run? Minute 18. I don't have any... I had one item, but I didn't have that item until just now, so... I'm behind pace. Maybe I should have a heart rate monitor. A heart rate monitor and a breathalyzer are two things that I d really, really want to get. The heart monitor because I feel like my heart rate spikes uh, in interesting scenarios. And it would be a good way to spice things up for October. How far away is October, actually? Oh, wait a minute. I, I just realized the... um. You do lack certain items in this game until you unlock them. When you just start out, you uh, don't have every single item unlocked. You're missing, you miss like a lot. I was, I had that thought in the back of my head, like, am I gonna really struggle and suffer? Yeah, so Breathalyzer is the thing that G-Clef was using yesterday 
that was measuring how much alcohol he had in his body, his blood system, um, as he was trying to get drunk. And, you know, we, we tried our best to ensure that he was just completely shit fit, um, uh, slammed, like dead drunk. And what could I use for? Uh, so I have, in about two days' time, my month anniver my month anniversary of streaming. So I started streaming on, I believe, August the 19th. It was a Tuesday, and I was dreadfully bored after a long day at the lab. And I figured, hey, why not just, you know, throw a webcam up and see what people would like to watch. And I decided to play an old game that I like called Deus Ex Human Revolution. I still haven't finished it, even after a month. But then again, I did dedicate one week after my first week streaming to just, uh, to just Armored Core. <laughs> because that was a game that came out around then, and I could not help but, but play it. Because I was very excited for another From Software game to release. Ooh. Gotta say, the, the War Banner is doing a lot of work here. I'm loving it. I started watching August 20. Damn, I missed by one day. Ah, oh, you don't have to feel bad about it. You can... Oh, shoot. I think I'm gonna die here pretty soon again. I wonder Conqueror has so much trouble. There's so many enemies. Oh my god. Um, you can just keep on... Don't feel bad about missing until August, uh... Missing the first day, because... I'm pretty sure, Vita... For me, what's August... Wait, no. It's the other way around. I would be ahead of you, Vita. So I would have started streaming on August 20th for you. No. I would have started streaming August 18th for you. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Gotta say, the, the, the game mixed with the sudden soreness in my arms and my underdeveloped chest has uh plus trying to keep tabs on what's going on in chat that's uh that is a struggle conquer <laughs> people that do this on the regular my god can't believe it air troopers huntress is a very powerful character very very good for beginners whereas commando is by comparison incredibly weak for beginners there is a sort of scaling difficulty based on the pick character that you pick. Railgunner, I haven't played her very much. But I think she's neat. Is it a she or is it a is it a he? She. Oh my goodness. Sexy sniper lady. Completely the opposite in Risk of Rain 1. Is that true? Is the first game like just so much better? I know it's 2D and they, they transitioned to 3D while trying to keep the art style still intact. I think, I'd say it was pretty effective. People love this game. I think also the transition to 3D makes it a lot easier to sort of import 3D models and go crazy with that. Like, I, I've seen Gurren Lagan as a playable character in this game. Simply because you can very easily grab a 3D model for Mr. Gurren Lagan. And what else? There's Goku. People have put Goku into this game. The Huntress is trash compared to the Commando in Risk of Rain 1. Oh, wow. You wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought that. The... Because Huntress is actually... I, I would go as far as saying Huntress is probably the best character in this game. <laughs> um, I know some people think Commando is really good as well. I've never played him, and I haven't played him long enough to really say whether or not that's true. Um, Commando... Or Huntress and Captain... Did I say Commando? I meant Captain. Mr. Captain is is the character that I was trying to say I haven't played enough of. Oh my god. Phoenix Wright mod is hilarious. <laughs> I was gonna say I haven't seen that one, but I completely believe you when you say that, because I the the amount of ridiculous stuff I've seen is just is just silly. This um this teddy bear that I got from the void capsule, very, very good for early game, I think. Because you can avoid hits early game, but you can't often 
completely avoid damage unless you're super fast like Huntress. So being able to take that one hit for zero damage pretty much every single time, very good, very, very nice. Now before I, we're only two minutes in, but I want to narrow down where the teleporter is because otherwise I'm going to mess about here for far too long. I thought he dropped an item because the green orb flew out of his head, but it was just a healing orb. I think the bitrate might be a bit too low, which is fine for you guys to see any of the particles, but if you do see the particles for the for the teleporter, let me know. Because I'm having a tough time. What are some other funny mods that I saw? I tried getting into, like, Risk of Rain mod packs, Risk of Rain 2 mod packs, and I couldn't find any that would work really well with multiplayer. It was taking a very long time for anything to load, and by the time it did load, I sort of had lost interest in playing the mod pack. Which is a shame, because I've played pretty sizable mod lists before, but never like a pre-made mod pack of sorts, and I was kind of looking forward to it. Maybe what um, I should do is try and get a collab going with some other Risk of Rain VTubers, and may I think, may be easy to take a 3D model and just slap it in here with some abilities, or at the very least, oh, there's the teleporter. Where was I going with this? Ooh, that's very good for me. Um, Because I know in Don't Starve, a pretty popular thing for VTubers to do is get their own custom character. It takes a long time to make a custom character because of all the dialogue that you need to work with. But one day, I would love to see a mod for, for Mr. Me in one of those games. I, th I just think it'd be neat. It's not like a... It's not like a... Bandy thing. I just, I just, I just, I see other VTubers. They get all their, like, they get custom um, characters from the Don't Starve with their own little abilities. And I kind of, I think what it, what appeals to me the most about it is seeing what people would make for abilities for me. Of course, I'd probably be the one making the the character mod myself. But <laughs> I want to see. I want to. It's nice to think and fantasize about what um, I would have for that. Because I, I love seeing, uh, there was a mod for Don't Starve that had the characters from the manga Made in Abyss in there. And there was one for Reg, and I played Reg all the dang time. And he was so much fun, because he had a really overpowered blasting mechanic, where you just use gunpowder to fill up a, like, uh, fill up your bar, or like your, your blasting gauge. And then if you got 10 bits of gunpowder, you could do an outrageous amount of damage. And to me, that was so entertaining and fun that I trivi trivialized every single boss in that game. Well, not every single boss, but the bosses that we did deal with. And to me, that was worth it. It was very fun. And like I said, the, the teddy bear that I got is doing so much damn work. It's hilarious. Although I am somewhat regretting the choice to have... Oh, jeez. I went in for healing and ended up dying, is what happened. Holy moly, my arm is just busted from those push-ups. I guess I am a bit out of practice, though. I'm gonna hop onto a different profile. That was a lot of balls flying towards you. Well, they were, they were trying to match the amount of balls that I had. Um, control. No, that's not what I want. Back. Profile is on the top right. Let me just... 188 hours in this game. Not a lot. That's less than 200. I feel like less than 200 means I haven't put enough hours into this game. I'm going to try the... One character that I actually really like is this one. He's special because every attack from behind is a critical strike, so you play him a little bit differently than you would other characters. Um, you don't really have to 
gun for the critical glasses the way you would with other characters because you don't need it because you're gonna get guaranteed you're going to get guaranteed critical strike regardless i think if i'm gonna go try and make this maybe one of my last runs i don't know i'm trying to spice things up is what i'm trying to do and enjoy the game again i'll even use his funny skin that i got from clearing the game with him on the highest difficulty so this is my one fun run and then maybe i will go back and try the commando but this is a very interesting character in part because early game, I feel he's incredibly strong. But to to give it to show you how he's strong, I need enemies, and they don't seem to be showing up just yet. Okay, so this guy. Your shift ability is a stun. Okay, well, I was gonna try and boomerang from one enemy enemy to the other, but I do too much damage. So your shift throws you into the air, and then your R throws you into the air, and then your shift then your using your R on an enemy and killing them with your R will reset your cooldowns. Kills reset all your cooldowns when you use your R. So you can go into stealth, shoot your R, go into stealth, shoot your R, go into stealth, shoot your R. I missed. But you get the idea. Very fun. You can kill a lot of people very very fast like that and another thing about going into stealth is that it stuns enemies j dead the goat is raiding with a party of nine raiders j jpeg Ray. oh geez that's a lot of people hello mr j dead i believe i drew you a little bit ago i like your horns the um the game that i'm playing right now i mean wait, 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 no. i gotta i gotta there's protocol for this right um howdy i'm on uh, half man, half fun, and uh, I'm streaming for fun right now. And I really am streaming for fun, because I, I was originally intending only to play Commando for this, and then I ended up picking Mr. Bandit here, because I find him enjoyable. Um, hi guys, welcome to Cute Money. <laughs> Thank you for gassing me up like that, Rui, I appreciate it. Um, the... The, the doodle, I, I drew a little doodle, but maybe you didn't see it, which is fine because it was posted on an, an, on an anonymous image board, and that's quite all right if nobody, <laughs> if nobody sees it there. Um, I think you got a, a funny, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, you have uh, horns. If, if, not, if I am mistaken, I can amend it by offering to, to doodle you later on sometime today is also fine. Now, we're halfway through our time on this map. I think I'm just going to go gun for the the teleport like this. Oh my god, these guys are tanky as all hell. Shoot. There's lots of guys with horns out there, yeah, and there's uh, a lot of guys with bunny ears too. You kind of learn to live with it at some point, I think. Oh, man. I, I think the amount of rabbit men that, I, that I'm in uh, in leagues in, in league with at this point is kind of silly as well. Like, there's G-Clef, there's Log Logamoku, there's... Mm, i trying to think of anybody, any other, any bunny else. But trying to think about that, those sorts of things while also fighting the boss and all the enemies floating around the boss. It's so hard! Anyways, as you can see, this is a lot easier to play than Commando. I have so much more mobility than Commando. It's kind of insane how difficult it is to make Commando work, but... Oh, that's a great drop for... Me. I think. I'm not actually sure if attack speed is as important on Bandito as it is on other characters. But quite happy to get the predatory instincts, which is critical strikes increase attack speed stacks three times. A fantastic, fantastic drop. Now before I go, I've got just a little bit of time, so I can grab all these items here, and I'm gonna go for the random one. 
Crowbar. Beautiful. Is there any other item for me here? Oh, the shrine here. Beautiful. And it doesn't even make it difficult for me. Oh, Mana Song. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's quite a few raids. Howdy, Mana Song. Uh, howdy, every I guess everybody in the, the his Wizard Academy. I don't I don't know what um, Mana Song's entourage is called. But hello, welcome. I'm Han. I'm Half Rabbit. That is a double raid. Wizard raid. Wizard raid. Wizard raid. I love the hat. I love big hats. I, in fact, I saw somebody else with a big hat earlier. I'm looking forward to the amount of uh, you know men that are. Men, ma male tubers that are showing up with like big Toho hats. Love to see it. A hat can accentuate your your best features. I know for for instance, I enjoy a a nice baseball cap from time to time. It uh, saves me the trouble of having to try and make my hair look good. Hello, everybody. Yes, that's uh that's exactly what I had in mind, Mr. Buncom. It's good to see you. I was cleaning up the the mess some dumb evil wizard made. Well, I hope uh. I hope it's been taken care of. You know, the, the thing about messes is the longer you leave things messy, the harder it is to clean them up. So for your sake, I hope that that uh, it's all done and over with. I am angry. You have emotes unlocked on your redeems, and there aren't emotes to unlock. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rura. I'm sorry. I promise you, as soon as the... I have I have commissioned an artist off of Skeb for emotes. I've got I've got six ones, six normal ones, and then one animated one, and they should be arriving within the next couple days. I hope, I believe, I pray, because I want the emotes just as badly as you do. I promise. Playing Heretic, a boomer shooter, shooter of the Fantasy Doom. I thought Fantasy Doom was a a medieval, which is another game that I'm interested in playing, but it might be a while. Mid Evil has a VR, has recently released a VR um, version of it, and I really want to try and get VR set up at some point. But Mid Evil is modern. Oh, so is Heretic like old, old then? Like Doom 2 old? Because that is old. I'm pretty sure that's older than I am. Maybe. I'm not too sure, actually. Heretic is the OG, but I modded it to make it look amazing. Well, the, the lovely thing about older games is it. it they tend to look pretty damn good for, for their time, compared to what we get nowadays. What we get nowadays is kind of... I'm not gonna call it slop, but it could be better. It could be better. It's been a while since I've seen a game that just floored me with its graphic design and how beautiful it is. Oh, Rura, Rura is very mad that I don't have emotes. Promise you, it's, it's on... It's... I made a day of it. I made sure that I took care of making, commissioning emotes on a certain day, trying to get them done as soon as possible, because I knew otherwise I'd be telling myself I'd make them myself, and I I know I wouldn't wouldn't actually end up making them myself. Oh, this is good. Come on, I can push this. Oh, come on! Damn you! So what you saw right there is a button, or a pressure plate, I'm about to die, no? Uh, there's a pressure plate right there. If you shoot, if you stand on this pressure plate, while you have a- oh my god. If you stand on that button pressure plate, in this particular map, while you- I'm taking a lot of damage actually, this is not good. Never give up. Um, there's a door on this map that you can open and it gives you a free, very good item, which you would otherwise have to pray to RNG to, to get. And because I blew up the jar that was there, I don't think I'm gonna get the chance to open that door, which is fine. I don't need those items anyway. I have these items. Where are these? Oh, tax room is pretty... Is, is a tax room pretty good? I should have gotten the magazine. Actually, backup magazine would have been better than the tax range. It's getting intense as... It's, it's only nine minutes in. Oh, but actually, that's a good good reminder that I should be hitting this teleport ASAP. Keep it under five minutes. 
most important thing about first range here is just keep it under five minutes per level. Okay. The boss was not as hard as I thought it was, but the enemies that are coming with the boss might be a bit difficult. Fortunately, I have been blessed very much so with three Topaz Brooches, which is ridiculous to me because those are a lovely item to have in this game. They give you a barrier for each kill you do, and I can kill quite a lot of enemies in a short amount of time. The boss was the first to die. Yeah, exactly. No trouble at all. Although I do seem to be doing a lot of damage for the items that I have, or rather relative to the items I have. It's surprising, almost. I didn't think that I would have this easy of a time jumping from Commando to Bandit, but I do. I did kind of realize it, though, in the back of my head that it'd be an easier time, because I have more fun, more experience with this uh, character, and I also have more fun, so... Those two things combined lead to me knowing how to play this one a lot better than Commando. Also, like I pointed out at the very start of this run, and it has so much better options in terms of mobility and skills than Commando does. Commando has Jack, uh, has Jack for uh, <laughs> for his abilities. Now I'm gonna really quickly do a run because I have the time for it. I want to see if I could maybe clear out the void seed and grab some items. I think it's worth the trouble. There we go. How easy was that? Too easy. I have a lot of money as well. Power, power elixir. I don't need that. What I do need are items. And I'll take the mocha. Just for some more movement speed. What time is it? Oh, it's 12 minutes in. Oh, jeez. That's bad. Oh, that's not good. Mr. Sin Forma Formax VX, I think his name is. Would you say you feel challenged right now? Uh, not as challenged as I did on Commando. Not as challenged as I felt on Commando. But that's fine. That's fine. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sin. Oh wait, no. Why? Why? Why are you saying it like that? I don't like the sound of that. Is this gonna be a? <laughs> I hate that you had in mind the exact same thing as Vita, as Vita did. Tell you what, I got a. I've got a way of fixing this. I'm just gonna stick my thumb underneath my keyboard, and that way I won't possibly press the jump button. It's now uh, 228, almost 229. I'm gonna give you that extra 10 seconds and at 234, I will begin to jump again. Push-ups incoming. I will not, I will not, I'll be good. Oh, what, what, fuck, my, my forefinger, my pointing finger almost reached down to the space bar and made me jump. I can't believe I just- I almost unconsciously broke the- broke the thing just to try and jump. Oh, that's really bad. If that's how- if that's how ingrained jumping is into my system, uh... I- I'm not- I might not actually make it, but that's gonna be Oh, God. I want to jump so badly, you don't understand how badly I want to jump. Oh, my God. I need to add a, um... A timer to the the ban, ban in action. You're, you're one minute past. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm. Oh my! God. <laughs> I felt the impulse again to try and jump. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm not gonna do it. My my pointer finger is strictly on the D key. I want to hop over this too, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be delicate. I'm gonna walk around, take the footpath, and not. Not jump. Okay, what time is it now? Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. I'll be good. Yeah, I'll be good.
Unfortunately, it's a lot easier to get away with not jumping on Bandit than it is on Commando. So, this works out in the end. Although, I am on edge somewhat still, because my finger keeps on dipping down that way. Drop a permanent eff effigy that cripples all characters inside. Can place up to five? Huh? What is that? Is this a good thing? I mean, as long as the I'm not in that zone, right? It should be, should be fine. I think. How does this work? So as long as I'm not standing inside the zone of this effigy, it should be all right. Can any risk of rain two experts uh, weigh in and? Give me a quick rundown on this Effigy of Grief thing here. Ugh. I want to have a sippy sip of my energy drink, but I can't afford to take my hand off of either of my... ...keyboard or my... ...thing here. And what are we looking at right now? Still, still three more minutes. Three more minutes. Beautiful. We're looking pretty good. I, I'd say I can very effectively get through the rest of these three minutes. And Theta, your your redeem has... Is it two? Oh, right. You're right. You could have completely fooled me, Theta. I, I almost I almost thought it was three. I would have gone for another three minutes, in fact. Where's the, where's the Mr. Grove Tender? Is he up there? He's up there! I have to jump to get up there. Wait, do I? I kind of do. Okay. Uh, I'll just chill out and maybe just pop shots at him from a safe distance. Except the barrier there is bigger than it actually looks, so I can't actually hit him. At least not with my arm. Okay. Now... Oh man. Uh one more minute I think. Yeah, almost one more just one more minute. And I'll be I'll be good. Tell you what, can I can I throw this that way? And and Effigy drops a debuff zone that affects both enemies and you. I think the debuff is in movement and armor. Okay. So, as long as I'm not in the zone, I should be alright. And... 30 seconds? 30 seconds until I can jump up there and kick its ass. This guy's life ends 30 seconds from now. This guy's mother fluffing life ends 30 seconds from now. 15? Oh, they've, they've passed on your end. Have they? Have they? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm I'm watching my I'm watching my I'm gonna go overboard and on the minute mark Okay Finally, I can, and you know what I was so excited to jump over this and you know get to kill the boss and guess what I can't even make it I can but it took him it took more than I thought okay, Where's this guy? Why is he all the way out here? And why is he so big? Jeez, he does a lot of damage. I might not make it, fellas. I ran out of enemies, and he does a lot of that. Yeah. I ran out of enemies to farm barrier on, and oh, yep, that's not good. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, where's the teleporter? I need to get through there ASAP. My life is about to be done. Okay, how funny would it be if I redeemed that again? Um, pretty funny, actually. Pretty dang funny, I must admit. But that's up to you. They're your points. If they're, if you use those points now, you won't get to use those points for other funny redeems that I'll add when I have emotes. Um, what was that? Five minutes ago. Fifteen. So I have fifteen. I have about fifteen more minutes that I can go for. So that's fine. 
And fortunately, we have been blessed with this map. This is the map where you can get a guaranteed red as long as you kill the eggs that are lying around here. So I've got to go on a bit of a goose chase for that. Yeah, it's okay, Theta. I'm sure you'll, ha you'll have more points sooner or later. I, I do actually have to ask you, do you think the pricing is good on the point redeems? I think I was just taking key cues from other streamers, so I'm not sure if it's appropriate or not. And there's one set of eggs, so I think that's my first. How many more do I need? I think it's like three. Don't worry, bro. I got. Okay, no sprinting. I'm because I was sprinting earlier before I read it. That doesn't count. But I will. I will not sprint. I can get away with that. My question is: Do does do I get thrown into sprint when I press shift? I'll stop sprinting after I press shift because I can't really not. Can I? Can I stop moving and then? Okay. The price for redeem seems good enough. Okay, so. I will just stop walking, then sh hit shift, because I can't walk and shift at the same time. So stop walking, shift. That is a mean, mean guy. Oh, jeez, I got it. Oh, wait, no. Okay, stopping. Actually, I'm pretty sure if this guy dies, he ends up uh, killing everything that's inside, and I'm dead. The redeem price is also related in how much suffering you can endure. I think I've endured enough suffering. The run is dead. This is a really, really nice, you know, these items, I enjoy these items. I got the little disciple off the last boss, which fires things at enemies while you sprint, and because of the redeem that you just did, I don't even get to do that. I don't even get to do that. Oh, <sighs> okay. I do only have about maybe 10 minutes left. And I think for those next 10 minutes, I am going to opt out of the game. Yes, I'm going to end the Risk of Rain and move somewhere more comfortable. Bandit is so much more fun in this game than the first one. I, I bet. Like, I have never touched the first game. Not even, like, looked at it in the Steam store page. And I know for a fact that nothing could be as fun as the uh, bandit in this one. Uh, you have not bullied me out of the game. I've just been informed that the computer lab will be occupied in the foreseeable future. So let me really quickly take you guys into this lobby here. And let me try and see something. Okay, that's that. Um, where is... I'm going to put... Goal real right there. And I have to move chat up a bit. Okay. So this is the lobby. Um, here I have some things that I would like to show to the class. Which button is it to? Oh, that's that one. Okay. So um, I have some things to tell everybody here that uh, I have, in fact, as Rura has brought to attention, I have, in fact, commissioned emotes. But I am aware that the emotes are not there yet, and I'm sorry for that. But they are going to hopefully be here by... I can't actually say. I, I did some on Skeb, so... There's no guarantee of when they'll arrive. They could arrive at the very end, at the very tail end of the deadline that they set on Skeb. But I, I've seen this, this one, this artist that I've done for them, has done some very, very lovely emotes. Let me go take a look at Skeb, in fact. It is slash Gawa. Now, they are, they have an average response average days is less than one. Complete average days is about 12. I commissioned them less than a week ago, so who knows how long it's going to take. It might take over a week from now, but and which may, would definitely mean that I don't get them in time for the one month, one month anniversary, but that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what I do have in the works is a PNG tuber model made by somebody who may or may not be in chat right now. I'm not too sure. And I'm not sure if she's fine with me displaying it here, which makes me wonder. Should I or should I not? <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna flip a coin. There's a coin somewhere around here. Okay, Australian coins are funny. They have... Sorry if I don't chat much, I'm a serial lurker. Well, there she is, there she is. Okay, well, she if she grants her blessing, I'm gonna post, share the little sketch here. It's a lovely little sketch, it's very flattering, and I've never been more happy to see my own face. Um, I guess the coin that I was about to regale you with details of is gonna go back on the desk. Actually, can you hear this? If I go quiet, can you? I think there was noise for that. <laughs> All right. So let me very quickly go into Twitter, go into notifications, messages. Tiny, lovely, lovely lady, Tiny Vermin, um, lovely artist. If I take this and I go into creator dashboard, can I just post this in chat? I believe I can. Go give her a look, see, she's a fantastic. Fantastic artist with fantastic prices, um, and she does quite a lot of work on VTubers. She is... I, I've had zero difficulties with whatsoever, and it's been a fantastic... it's been a blast. Now, if I could save this image, not as a P .png underscore medium file, but rather as a .png, I'm gonna import it into... Sources. Save as WebP. I refuse. I refuse to save as WebP. You can't make me save it as WebP. Um, PNG. Now browse. Downloads. Where is the Twitter? Let's go pretty far down for this one. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, my, my amateur... Okay, so it's C0. Oh, there it is. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. That's my soon-to-be done uh, PNG tuber model. I can't actually figure out what expressions I want for, for the PNG tuber model. Uh, but I think maybe sweating is going to be there somewhere. I think sweating and uh, tears is like my gimmick, my mo motif of sorts. Oh wow, everybody's really excited for this one. <laughs> well, maybe I should bring it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and yeah, no, this is the work of uh, Miss Tiny Vermin in chat. Just, if you scroll a little bit further up, that is her Twitter, and please, for, uh, she has my recommendation. Fantastic artist, lovely. Um, couldn't have done better myself, which is why I commissioned her. <laughs> Really, it's it's fantastic, and yes, I'm now by uh, technically tiny son. She's mama, giving birth to VTubers left and right. Tiny, if I may, if I may, just very quickly, how does it feel to get, to be uh, a VTuber factory, as it were? Because I I can't. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're churning these out left and right, you know? I, I just, I sympathize with you. Usually, you know, ladies ha get like a month or so before they, they're, they're, it's lovely, it's a lot of work, but very fulfilling. Well, I'm happy to hear that. It makes me, and I feel very blessed to have been a part of that. So, either way, fellas, and uh, rabbit family, everybody here in the, I suppose it would be called the Warren, wouldn't it? The, uh... This is what, uh, that's a short little update from, from me to you, and let me, let me just go over really quickly what I did talk about. So emotes are on the way, uh, commission should be within, ideally within this week, but probably a little bit later. Uh, anniversary stream, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that, but it might just be more of the same. I might though I might break out the tablet and do some drawing of everybody that has been a part of this journey. Um, if I can make the time for it, I would really like to have a drinking stream where I drink and draw. Don't drink and draw, kids? That doesn't really have the same ring to it as don't drink and drive. Either way, the anniversary stream would maybe be this Tuesday? Well, it'd be Monday night for most people, I imagine. Um... 
Monday night for for folks in America. But for me, it's probably just going to be after lab work's done on the 19th. So, yeah. Um, maybe, I, maybe I should put in text. Hold on. Text. Uh, notes. So that's going to be... Properties. Actually, can I cancel that? Studio mode. Just don't forget to announce it on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, I need text here. And then I will leave this one. Put that there. Properties. Um, anniversary stream on 18th. Night, night of the 18th. Oh, uh, okay. Really, I, I gotta wrap this up really quick now. Um, I anniversary stream on the night of the 18th. Let me let me put this in there. End studio mode. Text enable. Uh, maybe I should resize this. <laughs> um, the the text is almost illegible. Uh, emotes on the way. Uh. And, um, what else? Uh, PNG Tuber on the works. All right, fellas, that's probably going to be it. Um, any more announcements, I'll, I'll just do on Twitter. And <laughs> I'll uh, see you guys later. Um, I think it's time to hit the hay. <laughs>